Hey, this is Jet from JetSpencer.com and today I'm going to be doing a book review for you. Today's book is Calm, Cool, Collected by David de las Morenas. And I enjoyed this book. If you're familiar with concepts such as mindfulness, meditation, surrendering to the present moment, accepting reality for what it is, this book will be a great refresher course for you. If you're completely unfamiliar with these particular concepts, this book will possibly open your eyes and maybe even change your life drastically. And so that's kind of the reason why I give this book two different ratings. Uh, for people that are familiar with these concepts, I give this book a three-star rating. And for those of you who are completely unfamiliar with these concepts, I give this book a four-star rating. So I guess let's get into it. The overarching theme of this book is accepting reality. And he actually quotes Marcus Aurelius from the book Meditations. And the quote is this, you have power over your mind not external events. Realize this and you will find your strength. Most people are at the whim of their environment, but what they don't actually realize is that the only thing that they can actually control is their own mind. You cannot control many of these external events. And that's not to say that you should be this Buddhist monk and suddenly just start surrendering to all the bad shit that's happening to you and not being proactive in changing your life. But what I am saying is that when something bad does happen, like your car breaks down or your girlfriend cheats on you or you lose your house, so you get hit by that arrow and most people end up closing down and just completely closing themselves off to the world and they're like, oh, fuck this, I'm just gonna will it, willow and, and just be in self-pity and pain and they end up getting hit by another arrow which is that pain that continues to go on for days or weeks or months or even years. Instead, see that first arrow, get hit by it, you can't dodge it anyway, and then accept reality for what it is, accept the fact that you're in a shitty situation and take action to try to change that. That way, when the second arrow does come, which is all the emotional baggage, all the negativity, all the anger, all the angst, and all that shit starts to hit you, you can actually dodge it and do what must be done in that present moment in order to move forward. The main difference is remaining open rather than closing down. And he breaks down four steps that anyone can do when they find themselves in conditions that are not ideal. And those four steps are this. Number one, notice yourself closing. When you feel yourself closing down, when you feel yourself covering yourself up, when you start to feel all those butterflies in your chest and you hit that fight or flight response, be able to recognize it. Number two, accept reality. What is done is done. What's already happened has already happened and it's not going to change regardless of how you feel about it. Number three, breathe deeply. Breathe with your entire diaphragm. Come all the way down to your belly. Breathe real deep. All the way up to your chest. So down through your belly and up through your chest using your entire diaphragm. Number four, open your chest and relax your shoulders. Open up, keep your body open, keep your chest up, keep your chin up, and keep your shoulders relaxed. This really all comes down to perception. And here's another great quote that he uses from Marcus Aurelius. You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. What is done is done. Whatever event that has happened to you in your life, it's already happened. And your perception of that event isn't going to change the event itself. So rather than getting in this super toxic negative spiral about how your life sucks, how you can't move forward, how things aren't getting better, it is at that time that you have two choices. Number one, you can perceive the event as a terrible thing. You can close down and refuse to accept reality. And number two, the alternative, you can accept the new reality, avoid yourself from closing down, and find the solutions necessary to move forward. This is the real meat and potatoes of the book, where he talks about that little voice in your head. 
And what you'll notice is that there's this little voice in your head that's constantly berating you, constantly attacking you, constantly telling you you're not good enough, constantly telling you what you are and what you are not. And the realization that you are not this voice and you do not have to attach yourself to this voice is something that will change your life drastically. Because what you'll notice is that if you actually take the time to relax and not actively think, you're going to notice that thoughts are coming into your mind regardless of if you're trying to think or not. If you are not the one who is actively trying to think about things, then who is the one having the thoughts? Who is the person that is witnessing the thoughts? That is the true you. And this is something that is completely mind-blowing because if you are not your thoughts, you are not your profession, you are not your history, then what the fuck are you? The reality is, is that you are a watcher. You are the consciousness inside your mind that is perceiving these events, but you are not the voice that is inside your mind that is attaching labels to said events. This is what uh, Buddhists and, and monks and Zen is all about, and the now and mindfulness and being present and meditation. It's about being present to the moment and realizing you're not your thoughts. That's what enlightenment is. It's hitting a point in your life where you no longer you no longer have any thoughts in your mind at all. You are 100% present within the universe. Being able to supersede ego, being able to reach a level of deep identity level change is something that many people go their entire lifetime trying to accomplish. And the crazy thing is this, most people live their entire lives thinking that they are this voice in their head. They believe that is the real them and they wonder why they are constantly in the state of turmoil and pain and never able to find a real layer of peace in their own life. If you're able to take this concept, if you're able to supersede your ego, if you're able to realize that you are not your thoughts but you are the watcher of them, you will live an extremely profound life because nothing around you will be able to affect you anymore. And I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is Jet from JetSpencer.com. Once again, the book is Calm, Cool, Collected by David De Las Morenas. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and or comment. I really enjoyed this book. Once again, for anybody who is unfamiliar with these concepts, I definitely give this book a strong four stars. And if you're familiar with concepts such as meditation, mindfulness, being in the now, being in the present, being in the present moment, I give this book three stars. But it's a nice refresher course, definitely something you should pick up. And once again, you know what to do. As always, good fortune to you, my friend. Yeah, come in. Sorry, did I miss you? My bad. <laughs> What's up? You look like Jenny <laughs> from fucking Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the look I was going for.